Hi, Easy Guy here. Today I have a quick guide on ability stones, how to refine it, and how to manipulate the RNG so you can get as high of a stat on your ability stone as you can. So let's first get started with an ability stone. What is it and what slot does it take? It is an equipment that you can equip on the bottom right slot. And for new players, this might be a little bit confusing because I have an ability stone, why can't I not equip it? Well, an ability stone must be refined before it can be used. So I'll show you the process of refining first before we get into uh, specifics of uh, some details, like un unwritten details about ability stones. So the best way to polish it is using the second option for the currency, mainly because shillings can be used for other things, but Lupion's tokens are not as commonly used in other, uh, other sources. So you generally want to refine with Lupion's, uh, Lupion's tokens and you have three different bars and the NPC you want to talk to is this guy with an elongated uh, elongated prism shape this one <clears throat> so once you once you approach this NPC you the uh, ability stones you can refine can be shown on the left and make sure you guys pick the Lupion's tokens and the first two rows are green or blue and the last one is red. This means that if you succeed on these two rows, then you'll get the stat that it indicates added onto your character. And if you succeed on this red row, you'll get the uh, stat that it's indicated subtracted from your character. So your main goal with an ability stone, whenever you refine it, is to succeed all of the positive blue rows and to fail all of the negative red rows. Because if you fail to take away stats, then you won't lose any stats using this ability stone. Whereas if you succeed to take away stats, then you will lose stats. So it's a little bit hard to wrap your mind around the first couple times, but you will get used to it. All you basically TLDR, you want to succeed the first two, fail the last one. So how can we manipulate the chance of success to uh, support that? Well, what we can do is we can dump all of our high chances high success rates into the stats that we want and we can dump the low success rates into uh, the failure or uh, some uh, different stat, uh, second stat that's not as valuable. So for example, I currently have crit and proficiency and generally you want crit to be as high as possible in most characters. So I want to try and get crit as high as possible. So with the 75% chance rate, success rate is the highest. So let's go give it a shot. So we succeeded. Every time you succeed, your chance decreases. Your chance to succeed on the subsequent one decreases. And every time you fail, the chance to succeed increases. So at 65%, that's relatively high. And we failed the relatively high success rate. We're back up to 75. We succeeded. We failed to 65% again. And we succeeded. So this is kind of how RNG will play out. Sometimes you'll get lucky and sometimes you'll get unlucky. So if I were to have succeeded the 65%, I, which I do not. Okay, so I succeeded the 65% here, so I'm at 55%. Now, I don't know the mathematical best, uh, best way to optimize your stats, but at 55%, that's still relatively high, so let's give it another try. Okay, so now we succeeded. And at 45%, that is a little bit lower than what we want. So let's try dumping it into our failure stat. And we succeeded the 45%, which is bad, especially because we put it into the uh, negative stat line. So at 35% success rate, we should fail the next one. <laughs> we succeeded. So we should fail the next one because it's as low as 25% chance to succeed. So we want to fail. At 35%, that's still relatively low chance of success. So there we go. Uh, at 45%, it's kind of a toss-up, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to risk it uh, with this positive stat. And I succeeded. And now I'm at 35% chance to succeed, which means that this next one should fail. So that's kind of how you want to play around with your stats and the percent uh, chance to succeed or fail. So right now, uh, this ability stone in particular has 84 plus 84 to crit, plus 76 to um, proficiency, and negative 28 to specialization. So it's not 
terrible, but it's also not too fantastic either. So it's gonna take you guys a long time before you get the perfect ability stone. And I highly suggest you guys don't get too caught up on getting a perfect one just yet because we're not at a point where we need to worry about this uh, to the uh, worry about this to the point where you're re-rolling your ability stones or trying to get new ones every single every single day. The main stat you want to focus on for an ability stone is the tier of the ability stone. And the tier isn't explicitly written on this stone. But you can kind of deduce what tier it is by the name of the stone and the health amplification stat that's written on the first line. So that's something that I haven't mentioned yet because it's one of the most important stats. So the first line, uh, first stat that's available is a health amplification stat. And there are tiers to ability stones. And different tiers of ability stones will give you higher and higher number of uh, health amplification. And the chart is over here. Um, at the lowest tier, you get a whopping 1.29% increased HP. At the current uh, stone that I have, which is uh, plus 828, I get 60% or approximately 60% increased HP. So if I were to take off this stone, I sit at 400, uh, 4,500 base HP. If I were to put this on, it should increase by 60%, which should land around plus 2,600 put, uh, additional HP, which is about what you would expect. So as you can see, once you get down to much higher item levels, you can get up to 175% increased HP. That means my 4,500 HP pool would have went up to somewhere around 12,000, uh, 12, right? So as you can see, higher tiers of ability stones will have greater impact than whatever secondary stats it might carry. So I highly suggest you guys start, if you find a higher tier ability stone, just start using it immediately, even if it doesn't have the ideal secondary stats, because it's going to give you the extra oomph in your HP pool, which might help you clear a guardian raid or help you survive a little bit better. And if you're not, uh, if you're if you're dead, you're not going to be doing any DPS, so there's no point in having secondary stats. That's optimal if you're dead. So uh, that has been an overview of the ability stone and how to polish it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, feel free to leave some in the down in comments and I hope you guys, uh, I'll see you guys next time.